this is perfect uses of these samples. What's up guys, it's Marcel J, curator of Good Vibe and Good Music, back at it again with a new reaction. I'm so excited for this one. I feel like I'm excited for everyone, but like this one, Bryson Tiller, he dropped this new song called Inhale. He's been gone for a minute, working on music, being married, having kids, like living a good life. And you know, I've always been a big fan of Bryson and I just, I want to hear who he is in 2020, like what's been the evolution of him. So let's get into this new song, Inhale. Ooh. We're in the hills. You're not gonna, cr oh yo, wait, I'll shut up. I love the lighting in this. Hey. Let me pause. I want to make sure I know what the sample is because it reminds me of Wayne to Excel. And I want to say it was not gonna cry, Mary J. Blige, but it sounds like a mixture. It is. It samples Not Gonna Cry by Mary J. Blige, but then the singer is all night long. Well, the singer within that first part, SWV, songs all night long. I love the vibe, it matches the video. I love the dark vibe of the song and the video, the productions. The production feels back to like Trap Soul, but like evolved, a better version, um, or a different version. Not even, I don't wanna say it's cause Bryson definitely got pigeonholed when he, when he came out with Trap Soul and then two years later came out with True to Self. Like people were not fucking with that album because of how classic Trap Soul felt, but this feels like he's in his zone with this, this production. This is perfect uses of these samples. Yo, okay, so Bryson's on a storytelling bag. I think it's why I really love Trap Soul. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't listen to True to Self. Like, I heard a couple songs, it sounded good, but 2017 was literally just control for me. Like, <laughs> That was my album, and if you weren't Control, you'd really have to be, like, top tier for me to just shift my focus. Um, but yeah, I like when, I like Bryson's music because it's always telling some type of story. And this one, I think he's less singing and more kind of rapping, like that rapping sing talk thing that people, that's just become a staple in music. But going into the first verse... Inhale, exhale, I might take another hit before I set sail. When my text fell, I had to hit you from another cell. Told me, get well, did you mean that? Cause I can't tell, like, miscommunication. Let me read a little bit deeper. I ain't feeling well, kept it in, then my tears fell. Yes, I spent all these fucking years dwelling. Yes, I felt irrelevant. And then this room is you and me and this elephant. Oh, yo, I, I love that. I'm jealous and you and hit your, I'm jealous and hit yourself up for the hell of it. She think I'm moving shaky. You know something she coming for it. Baby girl, I missed when you adored me. Like <sighs> this is Bryson just being honest as fuck. He you saw the drink in his hand in the video. So you know there's some liquid courage coming through to give him give him like the boost to say how he feels because <sighs> we've all sent the late night texts. 2, 3 a.m., drunk or not, 
to your ex where you just want to you want attention you want to say hey i miss you i want to have this spark this one moment it might last an hour we might meet up in person it could last longer but it's very very relatable and very real to like put all of your feelings out on the table and be like hey i miss you it's been a couple of years but like what's up how are you and that's what this feels like let's keep let's keep going though The distance, I love the colors, like the blue, it's sad, it's moody, like they're distant, six feet apart, Corona. Red, it's passionate, they're in love, maybe that's like kind of a flashback to the past. Especially being in the same house, like... Maybe the blue, because they, they stopped. I think it, they, it begins like in a car, like they're getting out of a car. So they're going back to their old spot, trying to go back to their old ways in the red, but like they're in the blue right now. Like they need to make that connection or reconnection. <laughs> Time's melting, like, melting. <laughs> Time's slowing down because they're not together. <laughs> this feels like a te it truly feels like a teaser to the era and kind of a perfect a reintroduction for Bryson, for people who kind of gotten cold towards his music, or for newcomers who didn't listen to Trap Soul, like, but like, who are they? Like, who did not listen to that fucking perfect debut album? Man, I had to listen to that <laughs> again. But yeah, this is, it's short and sweet, even though it's almost four minutes, most of the song is a sample. And I'm not even mad at it either, like, it's a vibe type track. <laughs> Damn. Yes, give me a tape. Damn, she dibs. Yeah. Wait, so this is gonna be on his upcoming album, third album, Serenity. It's supposed to drop in the fall, and I don't know if it's gonna be an album or a mixtape. I guess on an album, you can still have mad samples, but I kind of hope he keeps the samples coming. Like, give me the 90s throwbacks. Put me in my feels, because that shit. 90s R&B hits so hard emotionally that when you sample it, it kind of automatically is good. Almost. Like, you can, you can trash it up, I guess, but having not gone cry, like, that automatically was just like, oof, like, what are, what are we about to get into? And then SWV, so you have the melody, you have, like, the fun, the fun vocals on there. I fuck with it now. Just 90s, like, pure, honest R&B, man. Pure and no interesting silent. Pure can be taken many ways. New album this fall. I'm ready. Shout out to Rolex, the director of the music video. Did a great job. The song's dope, like, I'm gonna add it to my rotation and I'm excited to hear Serenity whenever it drops, but yeah, that was my reaction. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Tell me if you listen to Trap Soul. No, tell me if you listen to the second album. Like, let me know if I should go back to it because I really fucked with a couple songs on there, but just something in my brain was never like, let me go back to the full project. But if I get the green, green, green light, the green light thumbs up for you guys, I'll definitely check it out. But if you got to this point, you're a real MVP, give me a thumbs up. 
Subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date when I post videos because I'm posting them all the fucking time. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have a good day.